Hey YouTube fams, what's up? It's me, your boy Winston. I'm back in the CB7, and if you're a CB7 owner like me, you probably had problems with your console frame <laughs> yeah, being broke off like this, whether it's on one side, whether it's the other side, whether it's the whole thing. And I know that this is a pain in the ass because it's one whole piece. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get this thing off and replaced. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the um, screw points, which actually also involves having to remove this. Or if you can shoot, you know, shoot a screwdriver in there, there's a screw in there somewhere. <laughs> okay, so um, let me, get, you know, let me get right to it. So if you haven't done so already, you you got to have to remove these uh, vents either with a plastic pry tool and or you know very carefully with a uh, screw a flathead screwdriver or if you can like what I did with my my own bare fingers I just uh, pulled uh, pulled one side and squeezed and just pried out the vent. Now, this one's just uh, acting really stubborn in particular, so let me go get that tool. Now, now, if you're like me, don't have access to a plastic pry tool, you could always tape off the, uh, the end of the uh, screwdriver with some tape. So, you can just, just, Gently pry it, put that in there. If you have to, tilt the uh, tilt the vent so that you get you can have easier access to it. So remember, just be careful because you know you don't want to have to take another trip to the junkyard to replace this particular part. Even though there's a there's a whole bunch of them in the in, in the uh, in the junkers, but who really wants who really wants to take extra time out of their you know busy schedules for that? So once you have it loose, go ahead and just pull that bad boy right off and set this thing down, you know, somewhere where you'll have easy access to it later. And then your first two screws are going to be right there, right there, and right there. Once those screws are out, you can go ahead and pop these ones off um, or if you, if you have all three buttons occupied you could always shoot you know put a very thin screw uh, underneath it or maybe even your fingernail and take that bad boy out now this is just for demonstrative purposes but you get the idea Right, then take them off the harnesses. All right. Now, if this panel wasn't broken, there would be two more screws right here and right there holding the piece onto the frame, onto the console, and then. You would have two more down there, right there, right there. Okay, so you have four right down there within very reasonable distance with each other. The next one would be under, underneath or behind this dimmer switch. So you can actually just pull that off. Or just push that down and get your screwdriver to pry that off. And then behind that dimmer switch, 
is that screw right there, uh, screw hole right there in the middle of your screen. Other uh, ones, obviously behind here. So you know the drill. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy off. Now I've been told there's ways of being able to take off those screws without having to remove these vents, but I say otherwise. It's easier when you take off the vents. But just don't forget to put them back where they belong, okay? Because you know, for some odd reason, they're different shapes. So, screw supposedly right there, but obviously. There's not one in this one. Okay. Let's see if we can take off this ashtray. And another screw right there, supposedly. Dang it, this thing came out came with no screws. What the heck? And then of course. To access the gauge cluster, you have to remove the screws that were here. Okay? Then you should be able to pull everything off. Oh, wait a minute. Can't okay, forget about this. Usually there would be one right behind this uh, control, too. But if it's coming off this easily, that means. Somebody forgot to put the screw back on again. See, right there would be your screw. Middle of your screen. So when everything's out, you should have something that looks a lot like this. Okay? And if you need to mess around with your gauge cluster, now's the time to now's the time to do it. All right, and here's my replacement piece. As you can see, it's all one whole humongous piece. And just to give you a better idea of where the screw holes go, one right there, one right there, one right here, one right here, one right there, one there, underneath the climate controls, one right there, Right, one right there behind the vents. One right there behind the uh, the dimmer switch. Underneath the top of the gauge cluster. Beneath the cruise control. Or not beneath, but behind the cruise control. One right there. And... Possibly, sometimes, one right here behind the ashtray. Comprende? Now, this is what it should look like when you put everything back. Now, it may look loose right now, but that's, trust me, once you have the screws back on there, it's going to look freaking awesome, alright? Now, word of advice, <laughs> and I've, I've seen this happen before, alright? You know, you guys don't finesse it when you put it back in. You have to really take your time with this. Otherwise, you know, you might have a crack there or a crack here or a crack there or broken pieces everywhere. I highly suggest you do this and you do this carefully, all right? Really carefully while your components are out, when you're... Your um, empty compartments are out. That way you have easier and quicker access to the screws. All right. So, you know, just put all your screws back in there. All right. And, and you should be good to go, you know. That's all done. Just got to put on that last bit.
So that pretty much does it for this dash bezel removal and replacement. So if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to, you know, please subscribe and turn on the notifications bell, you know, to check out new videos and get notifications of new videos every time I put one out. All right. So thank you very much for taking the time to view this video. Until next time, stay out of trouble, you crazy kids. All right. See you. Bye.